Hey everyone, it's Scott with another one of my rock star clients, and we're going to do a little case study. Lindsay, great to have you here, and really appreciate you doing this. I'd love for you to tell everyone that's watching uh, a little bit about what you do and a little bit about your business. Okay, okay thanks, Scott. Uh, what I do is I would call myself a coach. Yeah, a coach for for the mind, just helping people to see what they can't see, basically, yeah. Fantastic. Um, I know a little. I know a lot more about your work, but I appreciate the brevity there. But uh, it's it's been fantastic to work with you over the last month or so. And likewise, um, I would I would love to just have you share a little bit about like what was the challenge that you were experiencing that caused you to reach out. Okay. Um, I had all this knowledge. I'd done so many courses on marketing, and they were amazing courses, mainly through Seth Godin, um, the marketing seminar, the old MBA, the creator's workshop. And um, I seem to have all this knowledge, but there seemed to be a gap in my mind, not for want of trying, um, between applying that knowledge and putting it into practice. Yeah. Yeah, and I re recall, I think that you were in the creative workshop while I, while I was a head coach in that workshop, if, if memory serves. You certainly were. You're one of the coaches. And I've, I've been following you a lot longer. Well, I wouldn't say following you, but you've sort of been there on the radar. Um, and I do remember I was inside the cover of Seth's book of the marketing seminar. He's got all these, a, a wall of all these names and you were one of the names there. And I, I just thought it was brilliant that Seth had singled out a coach. And um, so I identified with that and I thought, wow, if Seth, and it can endorse you in such a powerful way, I said, that's good enough for me. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Well, Seth Godin has had uh, a transformative impact on my life, the second half of my life, for sure. And I do appreciate uh, his support. Um, so you've you've kind of answered this a little bit already. I mean, we, we're familiar with each other through the workshop and uh, by my participation in Seth's kind of ecosystem. Was there anything specifically that made you decide that you were going to reach out to me and work with me as opposed to other choices that you had? It was specific, but I can't remember what it was. I just remember seeing this, I don't know whether it was a post or something came up and I looked at it and I thought, that is exactly what I need. And, and I just remember pushing the button and all these things happened and um, yeah, here I am. Yeah, I remember, I think from our from our discovery call, our catalyst call, I think um, you were, the, the words, close the gap really resonated with you and I really enjoyed oh is that what it was it was either closing the gap yeah or I, I'm not sure whether you were using the term be a blessing marketing mm -hmm. as yeah, well no. that definitely got me in um th those the the um synchronistic thing if that's such a word was that one of my favorite books that I'm reading at the moment is called the gentle art of blessing and I've been reading it for the past six, seven or eight months. It's just living in this mindset of being a blessing. So when I saw Be A Blessing Marketing, I just thought, wow, I I, I want to find out more about this. And I'm really glad I did. Oh, that's yeah. lovely. I'm going to have to check out that book. Well, was there anything particular about the work that we did together that you found really helpful? And why do you think it was so effective? Where do I start? Um, okay, if I had to whittle it down into a core, I I think you explained it best to me one day when you were talking about the fact that this is, we're starting from a really strong philosophical base that is principle-based rather than going to the other end and beginning with the tactics and that's what I really loved about it because if anything that's what I learned from doing Seth's work that if you have a uh, I want to come from a really sound base and I thought you were very um, 
familiar with Seth's work, which is really why, why I wanted to, and I felt that a lot of his principles still came through because I wanted to be loyal to the work that I did because I with Seth because I valued it so much. And I thought what you were doing was a perfect segue for me to work from those principles and then trickle down to the tactics and strategies. So I feel now that I have this platform that is pretty solid from which I can launch out and create a um, client base. Yeah, I really appreciate that reflection. It really speaks to what I definitely am always trying to do, which is if we provide the philosophical and principle-based foundation, you can navigate your way through all the iterations that you'll go through with your business and your audience and your offers and all that. I mean, the tactics and tools and even the strategies will change over time. But if you come from that place of philosophy and principles, um, you'll you'll never get lost and you'll always be able to find your way. I really appreciate that. Well, um, yeah, I th I feel really so. This whole coming through with you has given me uh, confidence to. Um, like I feel I've got this base and it's just um, finding ways and, and it's been happening to um, have those conversations with people. I've had two clients sign up with me since we finished our work together. Um, one wants to be an ongoing client. They just seem to be coming out of the woodwork. So it's just amazing how when you sort of, it's almost like when you get into that mindset, uh, you um, things happen for some reason <laughs> magic happens I suppose but um yeah I, it's just a different energy now that I have in the world because of that work I did with you well you've actually answered the question I was going to ask about uh what what's happened for your coaching since our work together but just to reflect on what what you were just sharing uh because we just it's only been a week or so since um our our last session but you really were thoroughly invested in the work that we were doing and in, invested in doing the work yourself. You really took intentional action after every single call. I was so pleased when you would email me or text me, you know, the, the, the copy that you were creating for your landing page or your, your email follow-up, you know, for the mini workshop that you did. You just were such a, a great executor of things. And uh, I think the, you know, when, when you have that level of integrity and intention that you had, you're putting something out into the, into the atmosphere, into the universe, whatever you want to call it. And it just naturally will attract more of the right kind of people and in, into uh, wanting to learn more about you and what you do and, and, choosing you as the solution to their problem or the person that can help them achieve their aspiration. So I just wanted to add a little bit more there um, that um, it, for me, it wasn't work working with you. I, I just loved it. I just relished the next thing that, you know, well, you know, well, let's move on to this. And I, it was just, I just love doing it. I, I I don't know. I got so excited. It, it wasn't an effort. Uh, mind you, I did get a bit stressful there when I was getting the um, workshop and I thought, oh, man, there's so much to do um, in this. But um, I, 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 um, I just love the process. And um, I was going to mention something else that um, anyhow, I've forgotten, but that's okay. Well, and but you pushed through that resistance, and and what I heard earlier was that you it really helped you earn confidence, but you also got clarity from that experience about like how how would I iterate? you know? And I'm I'm still getting clarity. Uh, like um, one person I did the workshop, and then another person signed up, and the workshop had finished, and I said, well, look, if you'd like, um, you know, I can meet with you, and I tweaked the workshop again and then I tried something else with her and I've just learned like I'm just learning things all the time oh that's what I was going to say you said to me that the first iteration will be just that the first iteration and and you'll you'll be able to tweak it modify it and it's true I've one of the and I'm one of the things I learned was that um just in the last one that I did that Yes, I have the problem that I'm going to solve them. But then when it comes to the point where I'm saying, well, this is your real problem, 
with a, a lot of my clients, the missing puzzle is I can't actually specifically say what their problem is, the real problem that they have to solve until I actually work with them in the workshop because it's different for each person because they they all have a they all have the one specific problem that got them into the workshop but then when I work with them I actually see what their specific problem with is and I've done the workshop three times now and each person that I worked with their their solvable problem was different in each case and so that's what I loved about doing this this um this this um be a blessing marketing oh, i yeah. love that reflection because what what the approach does is it helps you create better clients by the t by the time they actually become clients they're they've already done so much work that you you don't have to sell them on anything and they are prepared for the transformation that you can now jump right into and facilitate through the coaching i love that reflection so where do you think you would be if you had not trusted yourself enough to invest in yourself and the work that we did together actually i remember what i was going to say to you i thought to myself uh, i was at that point where i have tried so many different things so you were my last stitch attempt i thought if this doesn't work with scott forget it i am not going to sign up for another marketing course <laughs> so uh, it sounds a bit dramatic but I, I i heard you say similar words on an interview that i heard you um with, with someone else I, I could really relate with that and um i don't know and it's anything but the you know and it's, i'm just so glad that um, I've done this with you. It, it's kept all my work with Seth together and it's closed the gap and uh, it's just it's just ticked so many boxes. Be a blessing marketing, it's just, and getting the right people like you said and being happy with, no, you're not for me. <laughs> not trying, not me trying to contort myself to say, please choose me, please choose me. It's like, no, 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 um, farewell, goodbye. Um, you'd be better served by someone else because I wouldn't be able to serve you it's a powerful in the way that you're looking for. Yeah. I love that. Well, if anyone out there is watching and they're going through these case studies to see, well, is is Scott maybe the right person for me? Should I go ahead and book a catalyst call and, and see if working together makes sense? What would you tell someone that's on the bubble and, and thinking about booking that call? Well, you know what? If there are any certified facilitators of the work of Byron Katie out there, um, my experience is that the majority of them do not have strong client bases at all. And there's a reason for that. And if you go to Scott, you'll find the answers to what the reasons are, because I certainly did. And I just wish more people in the, the field of work that I work within the work by and Katie community who are certified facilitators, one of the reasons why you're struggling to get clients is because you're not working with Scott. That's all. It's just as blunt as that. <laughs> you're very, very generous. Lindsay, it has been such a privilege and pleasure to, to do the work that we've done together, to witness the um, just the progress that you've made and the difference that you're making and the way that you're doing that work with and for more of the right people. I couldn't be more pleased uh, for the progress that you're making and for the opportunity to work together. I really appreciate your time uh, in, in you. participating in this case. And this is not my halo. It's just that the sun's come up over the trees. So that was good timing. And um, I want to come back and do some more sometime in the future. You know, I'd love to work with you again. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank okay. Bye-bye.